Hey guys, my name is Angie from Mrs. Angie Don, and today we are gonna talk about some ways that we can beat seasonal depression because it's in the middle of February and it's at that time of year where it's like, ooh, we're at the end of winter, so spring's around the corner. But in all reality, I live in the Midwest, I live in Indiana, we will likely have another snowstorm. In fact, we're gonna get one this weekend, and so it's just that that hope is there for spring and then we get more snow and then all of a sudden it's like spring's never gonna come we're just due i'm gonna share a couple of ways that have helped me personally because i've always struggled with seasonal depression like ever since i was a kid um i don't know just winters last a little too long here in indiana and i get down to the dumps if you guys want to know what has helped me and hopefully you guys can get encouraged then just keep watching so the first thing that I actually got this year, I've heard a lot about um, light lamps. I call them light lamps, like they're called like therapy lamps. They use artificial light to give you energy. It's a way of making your brain think that you're getting like sunlight or the sun's rays when really it's just artificial light. But this is the one that I have. I got it off of Amazon, but it has like a little stand here and you can just turn it off and on with this button and then you can make the light dim or more bright depends on depending on how much you need whoa let me just turn that off whoa okay i was a little skeptical about this i bought it last year right before winter and so this winter was the first time i've used this it works so I'll just put this right beside my laptop or my computer and I'll just keep on working and um, there, there's not like drastic improvement or like drastic change where I'm like energized and like it just keeps me going keeps me motivated just helps me stay focused it really does and so I did see an improvement so I've been using that throughout the winter so I love this. I love my light lamp. I will link this one below because I got it from Amazon. So the next tip that I have is you reach out to your friends and let them know that you're struggling with a little sadness around this time. I think that's the big one, knowing that you're not alone, you have friends, and that even though they might not be going through seasonal depression, you can still rely on them to make sure you're going out of your house, make sure you're going to go out for coffee, have a girls' night out, have, do something fun with your friends. That is the best type of therapy that you need when you are feeling sad. Friends are just everything. So the next tip is journaling. I love journaling because I think it just it gets everything out of your brain without having to like worry about someone like has she lost her mind like what is she thinking like you can just brain dump everything on paper no one will judge you you can just write everything all your feelings you can be crying you can be laughing you can be drunk you can just like just lose everything out on paper if you need that if you are feeling really sad and down and lonely journal that type it in a journal or you can you know have one on your laptop anything to just talk about your feelings process your feelings why are you feeling like this today what's changed is the sun out is the sun not out those type of things that way you can just like get it out on paper and you can and it won't be like swirling around in your mind all day because that also encourages just like the overwhelming sense of like the sun's never going to be out and this is really depressing type of thing. That's really helped me because I'm so much in my mind and so getting it out on paper, I feel a little bit more light and I feel like I can go about my day without having just like all of these things just like weighing me down in the back of my mind. So whenever I journal, especially on like my rough days, my really rough days, I am more focused to just kind of stay busy. Even if I don't leave my house, what are things that you can do to just stay busy? So, key points there. Um, for me, the biggest life changer for me to beat seasonal depression has been getting a puppy. So, last March, my husband and I, we got a puppy. His name is Petey. I'm sure you've seen him in my previous videos, but we are obsessed with him. 
So we really took time to train him on things that would really help um, me not get stressed out. That we trained him on is just to be like really close to us. That um, so he like right now he's sitting on my feet, like he's sitting on my feet rather than like sitting beside me. PD is calm. He's gentle. He's so sweet. He loves to snuggle and cuddle. Like talk about warming my heart and like making everything sad disappear. He has really changed my outlook on winter this year. When we had our huge snowstorm, I had a um, morning routine during the snowstorm. But during that um, week, we I went outside with Petey and we played in the snow. It has been years since I actually went out and like played in the snow. Every time I see snow, I'm just like, oh, the roads are bad. And then I stay inside. When this year was so different, I got bundled up in jeans. I didn't have any boots, so I wore shoes. But we went out and we played in the snow and it was the best time ever. And after that snowstorm, I was so like, I haven't left my house. I just felt cramped up and I needed to go somewhere. So after the storm, once the roads were safe, me and Petey, we went out to Petco and I spoiled him rotten. Yeah, I spent $60 on treats and toys and all the unnecessary things. We had the best day ever and that was just like, that was the best therapy ever. So definitely, um, I recommend getting a pet. Also, another tip, um, I have one more to share with you guys after this buy winter clothes that are not gray or black or like navy like dark and depressing colors i'm wearing an entire outfit right now i'm wearing cream sweats a pink shirt and i'm wearing a leopard print soft warm and tan sweater buy light colored winter clothes you don't look at yourself in the mirror and be like oh i look like a mess and like no, you can look like a really cute mess because you're wearing all of these like really cute and light colors. I feel like the trends right now are very like neutral tans and beiges. So I really recommend that because um, also with my nail polish, I'm choosing um, bright, happy colors. I'm choosing colors that make me happy. Okay, last but not least, take a day or two during the week. Take like a warm, bubbly bath. If you don't like the warm bubbly baths take a shower and just dedicate that time to just like like debrief and just kind of like let go of your thoughts i love bubble baths i like to light some candles i'll make myself some hot tea and i'll just sit there i love to do that at night right before i go to bed because then i go to sleep i'm calm and i feel really refreshed refresh the next day so i know this video is kind of short and i know that was kind of like a like this is like a random video i know that things can be frustrating because then you start catching yourself um canceling on friends you don't want to leave your house you're just bumming around in like the same clothes for the past five days like no try all of these things comment below which ones that you are already doing or that you want to try and let me know let me know some of the things that you do because i'll try anything i have my list of things that i do but i'm open to trying new things so let me know because i'm just down to trying it all thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys later bye